Hey planners, it's Tay of Shantae Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I have a haul to share with you guys. I've been doing quite a bit of shopping uh, because I've been trying to get myself back into the groove. I had been not planning for <laughs> several months and so getting back into planning, I definitely started doing a lot of shopping and this is kind of just the beginning of the orders that have started coming in. So um, there's some stuff in here I wanted to get started using so I decided to go ahead and do a haul with what I have right now um, knowing that I have more hauls to come. So let's go ahead and get started sharing this stuff with you guys and I hope you enjoy this haul. So if you'd like to see all of what I've got, just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I want to share is that I have a new planner and I am super thrilled about this. This is the freebie that came with it and it's their collab with Once More with Love for the print pression. I was gifted the print pression weeks by my friend Tiff and I've really been enjoying using this planner. Um, I've done a couple of spreads in here which I have up on my YouTube channel and this is the um, blank format of the spread which similar to the Erin Condren in, in the fact that you have a vertical layout with columns which is my preferred planning style. I prefer vertical over horizontal um, but I love the fact that it was just a much smaller format like this entire thing is like smaller than just one page of an Erin Condren. And then really similar with their B6 formats. I purchased the B6 because I was in love with the PP Weeks. And so again, you've got that same kind of grid format on the inside with these long columns. And I love this format because you've got a week on two pages, or you could actually um, use them as like full columns, even though they've got Saturday and Sunday broken up here. If you use it as a full column, you could do a week on four pages if you wanted. Um, and because it's blank and undated, it offers a lot of versatility. Um, the beginning of this planner, you do have a monthly layout, which I'm considering doing a monthly spread in here just to see what it's like. I will definitely start off with weeklies first. Um, for me personally, I felt like the monthly spread in the PP weeks was just so tiny. I just couldn't see myself writing anything in these boxes. And since I'm not um, using this as my primary planner um, it, it didn't really matter so much to me to not have monthlies in the PP weeks um, I really am enjoying the size of this B6 format as you can see again it's all pretty much actually the same size as the Erin Condren just without the bottom washi is basically what a B6 feels like to me uh, and this is my first time being in this size of planner it does come with um, two ribbons that you can use as bookmarks for your page and then in the back you just get like um grid paper um so you can use these as just like notes notes pages and that's the um layout and format of this planner it's hardbound which i did like because um, I'd considered a B6 format before, but what I didn't care for is that um, was the concept of like trying to figure out what to do with inserts and rings and how to store them after I've finished with my spreads. Because what I love about my Erin Condren is it being spiral bound, all of my spreads are together. Once I've finished um, doing my spreads in my book, I can just keep the whole book and it has all of my spreads in it. With the B6, you kind of get the same thing with this hardbound um, print pressions planner because it's um, it's all bound together. I don't have to worry about necessarily figuring out what to do with the inserts. They're all together hardbound in this book. So very excited to get started planning with this. I am so thrilled to now have three planners and I'm going to be figuring out how I'm going to balance my time and my spreads between the three of them because I'm enjoying using all three right now. Next, I have two orders from Rose Color Days and I love her shop. Without fail, every time I get an order from Rose Color Days, I always have the same reaction as soon as I get it and look at my order. I'm like, I need to place another order for Rose Color Days. Her stuff is just amazing and it's so funny because she doesn't do kits. Um, she just does stickers that just make my kits come alive and that's the thing that I love the most about Rose Color Days. Like, I, it's, it's just one of those shops where I know I'm going to get some amazing things that are just going to make my spreads extra special. Um, this is her business card and on the back of it it says think it, want it, get it. <laughs> just definitely a great motto to live by. I love that and it's just so stinking cute. Um, the freebie that comes with your order are these full box overlays and this one is in blue. It's foiled um, and she offers foils in so many different colorways. Like 
I, I feel like she offers the widest variety of foiled colors that I've ever seen for any shop. This is the freebie that you get when you enter Nikki's name and the notes to seller and this and it comes in um, like a random foil assortment each time so you never know which color foil you're going to get. This time I did get rose gold which is wonderful. These bows are adorable. I love that her squiggle now comes in the original thick version and in a thinner version and then she's got the hearts going in both directions. That is so stinking cute. Um, this is what I originally went to her shop for with the uh, new format of the Erin Condren. It's not new anymore, but anyways, with the format of the Erin Condren with those hexagons and whiting all of that stuff out, I needed to have monthly scripts to put at the top of the page. And this collaboration with Justinia's printables with the months is just so stunning. So I got these originally, I just ordered one in black script, which is what brought me to my second order from Rose Color Days because I did not understand why I only picked up one. I literally was not thinking that day. Uh, so I went back and I ordered ordered the um the scripts in um the three classic foils and then also got another one in black because I feel like with having all three foils I tend to not I tend to try to rotate through the foil colors that I'm using throughout the month so I figured if I had two of each month in each foil and then two in black and then four in black that would cover me for the month um in case I'm using like light gold foil on a spread then I can just use black or some other foil that's not part of the classic three so this may be enough but I may go back and, and just get another set in each of the three classic foils just to make sure I'm covered uh it just feels like a thing I should do and then this freebie this is from two little bees and this is so cute I am really really excited about this especially now having uh, my pp weeks planner I've really been gravitating towards utilizing the freebies and things that I get in that PP Weeks planner because the stickers tend to be a little bit smaller and this will be so perfect. This is adorable and I think I'm going to love doing a spread um, using that in my PP Weeks planner. So very excited. Also picked up some date covers from her. I am obsessed with Rose Color Days date covers. I tend to buy them frequently and these ones I love a lot because they're very clean and simple it's just on a white background and then you've just got the foil in multiple different fonts so I, I picked this up in silver foil rose gold I got all of the three classic foils and then I added in light gold as well uh so yeah so and then I've already used this one so this is the classic gold which is more of your yellowy gold and then I also got light gold which is definitely more of an ivory gold and so beautiful so stunning and just this the fonts really pack a punch when you pair them with a spread and because there's no other embellishments around them you can pair them with so many diff different types of spreads and it just is really gorgeous i love it so much um again i got the same freebies and then the um, dashboards that come in your spread which um depending on when you place your order of course you'll get a different month and i got one in silver and in rolls gold for this overlay, it's, I won't even try to guess what foil color that is. It's just really pretty and it's pink. And then this is in light gold. So stunning. Oh, I love that. Okay, so really happy with my rose color days order. Next, I have an order from Artbox Stickers and Sammy is the absolute best. I used to be on her PR team. I'm not doing PR for anyone at the moment, so I'm not on any PR teams. Um, but Sammy is just amazing and I love that she included these vellums with my name written on them. I literally want her to just write my name for me whenever I need to write my name. Her handwriting is the best. This is her business card which comes with your orders and on this side it says I love my planners and that is so cute. Um, even though I have multiple planners now I don't feel like I have the type of planner where like I would put like inserts of things like this which sucks because this is adorable and like if I had like a typical TN or something I would totally use that in a setup it's super cute um I picked up some icons from her um and I specifically went there because I saw that she had added this um icon to the shop since the last time I shopped with her which has been months because I've been on a planner hiatus but um these 
hand-drawn cameras on tripod. I was like, that is gonna be so cute for marking my uploads. So I picked that up in all three foils because I thought that was just the cutest icon ever. And then I also picked up these podcast icons because I really enjoy listening to podcasts and I needed some new stickers to mark that in my planner. And I got these in all of the three classic foils. I hope that's like picking up on camera. I'm doing my best to try to show you guys the foil colors. And then this is the freebie that came with my order and it's her laptop stickers in gold foil on a marble background and that's such a perfect freebie for me because I use laptop stickers all the time marking things for work and things like that. Um, also picked up some of her half boxes and she had these in stock in um, gold and silver though she was sold out of the rose gold. I'm a big fan of her half boxes with just the simple clean foiled lines um, and I had recently been using the cream ones in a spread and wanted to get some more of them because the colorway was just so gorgeous and I like white but I also liked having it in this cream color because it's just slightly off of white and it blends really well I feel like with a lot of different kits because um, sometimes I mean white goes with everything but sometimes cream is cream is a little bit softer and depending on the kit you're using you can totally work it in and I love that the fact that she offers these half boxes with these clean lines and then she offers the same thing with the little bow in the center and for me I love the fact that she has it with just the lines because sometimes there's just bows everywhere on a spread and I enjoy adding bows onto things and then with like all of the icons and things I've got have bows on them sometimes I can feel a little bit overwhelmed by the amount of bows on a spread and so it's nice to have just something with like nice clean lines on it and that's one of the reasons why I really love these half boxes from her. Continuing with the trend of stickers, I was way too impatient to wait until I have actually filmed this haul to get started digging into. Here's my order from Netty Designs and the freebie that came with it um, includes, is this a full box or headers? These are headers. That is so stinking cute. It's like on a marble background with gold foil. So you've got headers, a little post-it note, some icons, and a coffee Monday. And then she had this um, Easter header in rose gold foil. Um, and I think my Easter spread was gold, not rose gold. So I did not end up using this freebie for my Easter spread, which was too bad. I totally would have. That was super cute. Um, and then this is in hollow foil and it's another adorable, cute freebie. Um, at the time that I made this purchase, she was having like this um, birthday freebie um, was included depending on the amount that you spent. And I had don't remember the dollar amount that it was but I must have hit it because I've got the I got the freebies so these are in hollow foil and it's her um, birthday foil countdown and so you get a countdown to your birthday a full box and then some little presents over here and then you get these gorgeous hollow foil overlays that are also birthday themed super cute I wanted to pick up some scripts from Nettie Designs I love her fonts um, and I picked up this face mask and Primarily, I was thinking about skincare and and just wanting to have something to mark uh, on a habit tracker in my sidebar, just doing better with my skincare because taking care of my skin has recently become a project. My skin has been acting up like crazy lately, and so I really need to do better with that. And so I start, wanted to start marking that in habit trackers in my sidebar. So I picked up face mask in all three of the classic foils. I picked up the months and this is again at the same time that I was ordering months from Rose Colored Days and I saw this and I really loved the font. What I what I didn't realize and I wasn't paying attention to when I placed the order, these are like the month scripts that you would use for a monthly spread, not for a weekly spread. The scale on these, I mean, they're so much bigger than um, the Rose Colored Days scripts that I ordered. Um, and obviously because they're not intended for the weekly spreads. These are the um, scripts that are intended for the monthly spreads. Now she does have month scripts that are intended for weekly spreads. I just happened to pick up the wrong one, but I got it in silver, rose gold, and gold. So depending on what I'm doing with my monthly spreads, um, I have ordered some kits so I wouldn't need to use them, uh, but maybe in like my B6 or my PP weeks or something like that because they're, these are so gorgeous and I love them. And so I will still try to use these and work these into my planner in some way because those are gorgeous. These weekend banners, I wanted to have some weekend banners in my stash that were in a font that I felt was like 
kind of universal and could be pulled into a lot of different types of spreads um, and so I just picked these up in the three classic foils the gold silver and rose gold and as you can see I've already used one of the rose gold ones and these I love because again this font is just so perfect and some and I'll tend to buy mini kits I'll buy things a la carte or sometimes I just see a weekend banner and I'm just like mm, not feeling that and so I like having the option to just swap it out with something that I know I love then I also picked up her outlined habit trackers and these are just foiled habit trackers and have recently become like literally my favorite thing in my sidebar as you can see I've used them for two different spreads so far I've used the gold and the rose gold haven't gotten to a silver one yet but it's coming and I love these so much if you've been watching my plan with me I've been raving about the fact that I love layering foiled scripts on top of these foiled habit trackers and it just looks so gorgeous together I'm thoroughly obsessed with these and it's just like such a great clean design again with the white background with just the foil accent on top of it and just letting it just pop it just looks amazing moving on to the kits that I picked up we'll start with these two from Jackson Pepper this is the freebie that came with my order and look at these florals oh my god so obsessed with these that is just beyond beautiful and yeah I have to work this into a spread some way somehow because like the levels of inspiration that I'm getting just looking at that freebie just makes me so happy and I love when that happens when you just like look at a sticker and it just goes oh my god I totally just am so inspired to use that um anyways moving on to the kits so I picked up two kits this one is called inhale exhale and with Jackson Pepper, I don't tend to buy a lot of photo kits, but when it comes to her shop, she just does photo kits in a way that is just so stunning and gorgeous to me. Um, because I'm more of a clip art girl, but her photo kits just draw me in every single time. So on this page, we've got the full boxes. At the bottom, you've got quarter boxes, and then there are headers at the top here. Um, on this page you've got your washi and I love that she's always got a calm kind of soothing aesthetic to um, the kits that she does and, and maybe it's just the kits that I'm drawn to from her that she offers because maybe she does have like more bolder kits but when it comes to her shop like this is the aesthetic that I'm drawn to and then I love that I've got tons of cut washi and blank headers I do a lot of layering with like overlays on top of headers so I love when I have blank headers like this and then I can just add overlays on top of it um, if I want to bring foil into this kit because this kit is not foiled at all and then on this page we've got half boxes um, some more headers and then these gorgeous scripts and I love the font on those also really like that she's like very uniform in the boxes that she includes it's such a clean slate it just it just feels like such a great opportunity to really bring in a lot of personality to this because it just is like such a clean slate with the way she styled this kit I'm obsessed with this on this page we've got date covers some circle icons scalloped <laughs> scalloped checklist I am not a super big fan of using checklists in my planners but when I do I absolutely prefer the scallop style over the banner style it's just a personal preference it's probably one of the one of the many things that makes me a total weirdo but that's just me and that's what I like um, over here we've got some quarter boxes and again love the uniformity with the um, boxes that she chooses you're not going to get a lot of variety and like different prints and things on top of them um, which does not bother me at all. It's a nice change up in style, um, which I appreciate because I actually I like it both ways. When um, with other shops, they do a little bit more variety in the um, prints on their boxes. And then I also like this more clean, simple format. This weekend banner, super stinking adorable. Love that so much. The other kit I picked up was the Kind Human kit and it says be a kind human and I think that's something we should all strive towards but seriously look at these images I, I just I cannot there's something about this kit that feels kind of English to me I don't know maybe I, I don't know what it is about the aesthetic on here it, it feels like London maybe I don't know and I've never been to London so I can't say for sure uh, but it's giving me those kinds of vibes on this page we have of course your washi again the bottom washi the cut washi and the headers this page we have our boxes and we've got a row of pink and a row of gray love that look at these headers with this floral down here obsessed oh my gosh so stinking cute oh those date covers I cannot 
so in love and i love that weekend banner too her design style her eye her eye for detail her design style it all just works for me i really love her aesthetic super excited to plan these kits and neither of them is foiled which is crazy like i've been so into foil lately and so i love the fact that these are not foiled i probably will bring foil into them but i love the option of not if i just have a mood where i'm just like no i'm not in the mood for foil this week next up is my order from crafts by Towie, and this is a combination of two orders i placed an order for her two dollar tuesday and also picked up this kit and then i picked up the plant mom kit so we'll start with these icons she uh, was releasing them like in volumes well this first one this is her stay at home icon sampler and i was just like that is super cute i picked up just one of these just in black because i thought it would offer me the most versatility i don't I don't feel like I necessarily mark a lot of strictly stay at home things in my planner. Maybe I do. We'll see what happens when I use the sampler. If I need to pick up some more in different colors, then I will. But I decided to start with this just in black because I wasn't sure like how many of these I would need. Um, however, I absolutely knew I needed to pick up some new icons from her. You guys, if you've been watching my plan with me, you've been hearing me say it. Uh, so many of my icons were from tassel planner and she's closed now so i got super excited when tal started releasing these amazing volumes of icons so that i could stock up on some icons from a shop that's actually open and uh this is my first order and this was just from volume seven um and then she did a release of volumes one through nine so those icons are not in this haul they'll be in an upcoming haul so from um volume seven i picked up her flat iron and all of the three classic foils her pizza boxes again in all three classic foils and this was no surprise for me i am super pizza obsessed and so when i saw that i was like yep to mark every single cheat day and like a cheat day that's not a pizza day just like why cheat day is going to include pizza at least it is for me then I also picked up her curling irons which I thought was so super cute technically I have a curling wand not a curling iron but it doesn't matter same thing totally works and then these adorable audiobooks and I listen to audible all the time and I love that she did this where like some of them are earbuds some of them are headphones and then some of it is just this little speaker button tons of variety and then she's also got her icons going in either direction where the bow's on either side so depending on where you're placing it on the column in your spread you can use it on either side of the column and it works because the bows go in either direction you'll just pick one or the other so perfect so well done these were the freebies that came with my orders so um, I have two of them because I had two separate orders and so this was the large freebie which again has a lot of these like stay at home icons um, and they're in gold foil on this freebie super cute totally cannot wait to use this look at that nail polish and that cake so stinking adorable and I mean you cannot overlook this desk scene because that is just gorgeous and kind of pretty much how my desk looks so cute and then this, which is the Foiled Girl Planner Sampler, so amazing um, from the planners, the planner cart, this little planner stack, the desks, and then the pin cups. I probably should just go back and get this in like all the other foils because that's super useful for a planner. I love that. Onto the kits. Cannot begin to express how excited I am for both of these kits. I literally cannot contain my excitement. Pink and green is like one of my favorite color combinations to use on my planner. When I saw this kit, I went crazy. I am not a plant person. I don't know how to keep things alive and I feel like plants deserve better than me. This is just like no plant should ever be stuck with me as a plant mom. Um, however, <laughs> this kit was too cute not to use. I'm so obsessed with this. Um, it's got gold foil on it, super beautiful. And it's pink and green love the full boxes especially love this double box really wish i had a swing like that but i don't um on this page we've got the bottom washi which i cannot even handle how cute this is love this like vine detail on like the second strip because it's, it's cut into um, two pieces for the bottom washi the date covers are gorgeous you've got some glitter headers over not glitter headers foil headers over here super gorgeous on this page we've got 
your habit trackers, some quarter boxes, your sidebar stickers with a foiled weekly cleaning tracker and foiled Monday through Sunday tracker. So nice. Blank headers, which makes my heart super happy because then I can layer foil header overlays on top of that. Some gorgeous icons that also have foil on them. Tons of scripts and this font is amazing. Um, I want to say I, I know these were lettered by another shop and I don't remember which shop did it. I want to say it might have been a collab with Justinia's Printables, but I'm not sure so I shouldn't say. A weekend banner. And then on this page, we've got um, lots of half boxes. I totally like spilled something on this when I was looking through um, all my orders yesterday. I stained it. So let's not look at that because it makes me sad. We're going to pretend that's not there. And it's okay because it's just this one washi strip and it's fine. I just won't use that in my spread or if I do, I'll cover it up with something. But we're just going to pretend that's not there for right now. Look at how cute this washi strip is with this pin though. The the boxes. And this, see, this is what I was saying when I was talking about the Jackson Pepper. Whereas some of the boxes have different types of prints and stuff on them. Um, and with Jackson Peppers, hers are more uniform. But this super gorgeous love all these page flags and again we've got lots of foil in here this this vine leaf print i'm so obsessed with that cannot wait to use this kit it is just beyond gorgeous speaking of beyond gorgeous kits this is her serenity kit and oh my gosh too beautiful for words love this double box scene with the girl in the bathtub just like chilling reading her book sipping her wine and just living her best life if only. I don't think I've ever looked that glamorous doing anything. Um, <laughs> this kit is foiled with silver foil and is so beautiful. I cannot wait to use this. These are the full boxes. It's got the same format as the Plant Mom kit. So I'm going to go through this a little bit faster um, because again, you guys just saw what the format was and it's just in a different colorway. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at that bottom washi. I die. So in love next up from one of my favorite shops i swear she seemingly can do no wrong with kits by me i have loved every single paper muse crafts kit i've ever gotten and this is no exception this is the freebie that came with my kit and it's this cute little silver foiled um like fork and spoon and the plates great for like marking dinners or washing dishes and things like that <laughs> the little salt and pepper shaker how freaking adorable so I picked up the Sherber kit and this is foiled with silver foil and I when I um, read that it was I didn't notice I, I really think I didn't notice because when I got this in person the silver foil I was like wait that's silver and for a kit with this color palette I expected either gold or rose gold foil which is kind of typical for like these warm tone like pinks and the kind of orangey sherbet colors that are in here but this silver foil really pops against these colors and I am here for it so gorgeous these are the full boxes and then you've got some quarter boxes down at the bottom on the next page we've got the bottom washi and again love the clean line detail with the silver foil here and then the silver foil on the florals you've got headers she uh, foiled these arrows the last kit I had from her did not have foil on the arrows so that is super cute foiled headers down here and I love the font that she uses on her headers. I don't always use headers and I can get picky sometimes about the font, but I like her font. So I might, might pull those into the spread. This page in any type of kit just like makes my heart super happy. It is so essential for my planning style. I use boxes in my spreads all the time and I love having tons of half boxes, quarter boxes, different types of label stickers, different types of flags, appointment labels. That is just so useful for me. This deco is adorable and I'm definitely going to work it into the spread. Over here we've got cut washi which is great and the distinction between cut washi and headers in case you don't know you probably do. It's just the width of the of the washi um, Headers, of course, would be cut to header size and then cut washi is generally cut a little bit thicker um, to give you some variety. It'll, it'll be cut in different widths. Um, page flags up here and then over here we've got our date covers, sidebar stickers with your Monday through Sunday tracker as well as one that's just got bows on it. If you just want something more generic than having the days of the week, you've got um, some three bow um, half boxes, some layering icons with these gorgeous circles, your habit trackers. Um, banner style checklist date dots and icons so 
much to love about this. Three of the four pages in this kit are foiled, which is fantastic, and I cannot wait to use this kit. And last but certainly not least is this Southern Comforts kit from Chic Blossom Prints. These are the freebies that came with my order. I don't know that I use a lot of orange, but this is super cute and might be really fun for summer. This is adorable. I love the color palette here. This little sunflower quarter box is so cute. Anyways, so these are the freebies that came with my order. And then I have the Southern Comforts kit, which here are the full boxes and it's foiled in gold foil so pretty and then you've got some quarter boxes down at the bottom here i really love the format of her kits again giving me a lot of options with half boxes here and you've got squared off boxes which is my preference and then i like these notched boxes that are printed as well to bring in a little variety to the spreads you've got um some habit trackers foiled foiled headers and then lots of headers i'm not super fond of this font so those probably won't get used but that's pretty typical with me i don't always use headers in my spreads um on this page we've got our monday through sunday tracker uh and again see this is why i bought those weekend banners from netty designs this is a cute weekend banner just not my personal preference not my personal style love this laptop sticker movie marquee tons of icons cute little bow banner flags although I'm not much of a banner flag kind of girl and oh my god look at this bottom washi I cannot even so stinking gorgeous that is just beautiful I'm obsessed with this bottom washi love the bows love the florals love the scattered foil on there I've got tons of foil on these headers and then lots of um cut washi in different prints which i love because it can really pull a spread together when you've got um different prints that you can pull in with your cut washi and foiled date covers down at the bottom here so that is the southern comforts kit from chic blossom prints so that is it for this haul guys thank you so much for watching i've definitely got some more things coming and we'll have some more hauls coming up i hope you're all having an amazing day and staying safe talk to you soon Bye.